So this is an amazing place. We've only been here a couple of minutes and we can already tell that this is a very special place. I'm so glad that we came. Good morning, it's time for another Catholic road trip and this morning we are on our way to the Ave Maria Grotto in Coleman, Alabama. So this was one of the places on our Catholic bucket list of places we want to go. So let's go ahead and get started. We made it. It was a pretty easy drive because this time we were smart and we did not drive through downtown Atlanta. <laughs> we drove around it on the 285 bypass for the win. Yes. Yeah. The camera is falling. It's hot in here. So let's go in. I agree. So here we are at the beginning of the path. You do receive a self-guided tour pamphlet that shows you everything that you're seeing as you walk along. That was really helpful. And there were so many really, really cool things to see that we couldn't possibly put them all in a single video. So we're just going to be showing you some of our favorites and some of the highlights. It is constructed of pumice rock, honoring the chief apostle, the first pope, and it says, see the figure of St. Michael, specifically. He's on the top. Oh. And there's St. Peter inside. So Brother Joseph did all of this work before the age of the internet, so he didn't have any technological help when recreating these buildings, and yet he captured them all so perfectly. He was truly a great artist. And this is the Ave Maria Grotto, which is 27 feet wide, high, and deep. Mm -hmm. 
And here's a statue of Brother Joseph himself. This is a really nice tribute to him and all of his work here. Okay, so this place is truly amazing. Um, if you're doing Bible in a Year with Father Mike Schmidt, forget it. You can do the Bible in an hour oh. with Brother Joseph here. That's right. You Forget yeah. Father Mike Schmidt's Bible in a Year, Bible in an Hour with Brother Joseph. You're going to see everything from the Holy Land, including on into the modern apparition sites. Oh, you'll see Noah in the Ark. Church history in Church an hour. Church history in an hour. This is just mind-blowing. Over here we have a down shot of Noah's Ark and that's right next door to the Tower of Babel. Now we're moving into the modern apparition scenes. Brother Joseph didn't create these. A man named Mr. Leo Schweiger did these at the request of the Abbey to continue Brother Joseph's work. Okay, so we're just walking through it all again because there is just so much that you miss the first time when you're going through. Just so many incredible details, so many fun little touches. You're about to walk off the path. Kate said I'm about to walk off the path, so I have to be careful. But this is totally an amazing place. If you live anywhere near Coleman, Alabama, you should definitely try to get here. I'm so glad that we could come. All right, now we're walking back up to the gift shop. The Abbey also has a beautiful Way of the Cross on the grounds, and the stations lead right up to the Abbey Cemetery. And you'll be glad to know that there is a holy armadillo who prays the stations here. And he is alive and well. He is the only armadillo that we saw on the entire trip, but look at him go. And we decided to stay at the guest house at the Abbey. So this is the front entrance to that, and we'll show you what that was like. Okay, so here is our room. It's very nice. It has two twin beds and then just a very functional basic bathroom. Everything looks really nice and clean, so we're happy. And we're staying in the Bridget of Ireland room, so that's really cool. So this is really nice. We're on the second floor. It has little like gathering areas. Way nicer than, I don't know what we were expecting, but this is really good. All right, so we did visit the gift shop, of course, at the Ave Maria Grotto. And <laughs> I'm gonna show you what our loot is. We're back home in the retreat center now. I'm, I'm the cameraman here, so I apologize if it's wobbly. We have two loaves of bread. We have cinnamon raisin, 
and then Italian herbs. Oh my gosh, the cinnamon raisin bread, I can smell it through the, uh, yeah, the that, plastic. It that. smells so delicious. That's what I'm saying. It's like, get that bread out of the wrapper cake. <laughs> and then we got a pack of stickers. Love the holy men's set. And then some gingerbread cookies. Those look very yummy. I have to say there wasn't a lot of um, selection in the cookie department. They just had gingerbread and then one other kind, but that's all right, we'll take gingerbread and be happy. So we're gonna try them now. Very good, very delicious. The monks get an A plus for their cookies. Now, are these better than the cookies that we got at the shrine of Mother Angelica? Um, mm. Mm, it's hard to compare because the ones we had with Mother Angelica were so different. They were crunchy and sweet. These are definitely very good though because they're not super sweet. Yeah, you know, they're just a nice molasses type of flavor. I, I would take either one. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. But Mother Angelica didn't have bread. It's bread time. We're going with the Italian herb bread because the molasses cookie and cinnamon, we thought we'd try something different. But we have no knife. We have no plate. <laughs> just rip the bread. So we're going to do it Jesus style. We're going to have the breaking of the bread, literally. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's try it. We have our bread. Mm -hmm. good. We're leaving the gift shop. I heard someone say, oh, the bread is so good. Heat it up with butter. And that may be, but it is awfully good just like this. I think, yeah, with heat it up with butter would even be better, but this will work. Definitely. I, I think um, score two for the monks, one for Mother Angelica because the monks have bread. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's unfair. Mother <laughs> Angelica didn't have a chance. She didn't have bread. <laughs> Oh wow. All right, so we are just leaving the Abbey now because it is Saturday night and we are headed off to Mass. I had to say the Abbey lodgings, they are so nice. I mean, I think it's just as nice as any hotel. So we are very pleasantly surprised and we're very happy with our room and the accommodations. And the Abbey Church only has Mass on Sunday morning. So we're going to have to go back into town to go to Mass there. Yeah, we're headed to Sacred Heart in town, but we will drive past the Abbey Church. It's beautiful, so you can see it. Good morning. It's early Sunday and we are getting on the road for an early start. We are headed back home. It was a wonderful stay and we highly recommend coming here if you ever get the chance. St. Bernard's Abbey. It's a wonderful stay at the guest house and definitely visit Ave Maria Grotto. We had a great time. So thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.